Scorpios, welcome. A beautiful downtown Cancun, Mexico. We're doing your heart spread read for the month of December here. This reads the one that's on your mind and in your heart. Uh, do check out the Soul Family read if you haven't. That's a more of a personal read for manifestation spirituality than directly a romance uh, read. But I've already shuffled here. So <clears throat> this is you coming in with the Nine of Cups. This designates where your mind is at and where your heart is at right now. I try to have this as a baseline, kind of separate a little if I can. From your energy around whoever this is you're thinking of to kind of look at where you're at and your person's coming in with the wheel of fortune this is a really tricky card to put here in the number two or number one position uh, might be easier with you but this is jupiter that could be relevant um, <clears throat> but this shows you being a bachelor being emotionally content i don't really see where this would be a relationship that came about like from a dating site um, are you looking or something like that? Um, but when I see the Wheel of Fortune here, the main thing I think of is luck. And I think of the person feeling like they're lucky. Like this is their feeling. And I like to separate this from the reading, from you, to kind of see where they're at. But sometimes it's hard when the emotion is really strong for the other person and it's not with you. I mean, it's like you're kind of here in this I could take it or leave it energy. But for them, maybe it's so strong um, that it's sort of just bleeding into like what they are is in love with you or is at least uh, in lust with you, wanting you. Um, it's kind of seeing, you know, the little bit you see these holding this thing. It is kind of seeing you like a trophy. It's a little bit of a possessiveness to it. Is that a word? <laughs> possessiveness to it. Um, you know, um, that kind of thing. Um, to me, I'm a, a strong Sag. It's just kind of sweet. It's like, you know, uh, that Bob Marley song, you know, you make me feel like a sweepstakes win. Uh, you know, that might kind of be what their feeling is. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> now, this is the way you're reacting to them. Man, that's cool. <laughs> I don't know who you're thinking of here, guys. This is uh, interesting, Scorpio. Uh, but now the way you're thinking of them is in this very balanced way. It, it's almost like neutral. And you know, look, look at this card. How the Nine of Cups is kind of like, hmm. Like he's got his arms crossed. Like, I'm not going to. Man or woman, not the point. But, you know, emotionally kind of being like, you know, I'm good. No, I'm good. Hey, would you like to dance, Scorpio? Uh, no, no, I'm good. Hey, Scorpio, really, seriously, can I get your dumb like to go out sometime? No, no, I'm good. <laughs> a little bit like that and with the two of pentacles um it, you know this kind of like scorpio thing not slam scorpios but this is the eighth house other people's energy i get with this two of pentacles this could you be you managing them and i usually don't read the two of pentacles as juggling but here i kind of do see it as juggling because this is the position of how you're feeling about them and it's like i get the feeling scorpio like this is somebody you're thinking about and they're they're an uh, option, you know. They're an option to you, uh, but to uh, let's get how they're feeling about you before I say for sure. Yeah, in the three of pentacles, but what a contrast to the two of pentacles. Now this really emphasizes cooperation and the ethereal visions illuminated tarot. Um, so I think they're submissive to you. They want to cooperate with you. I, I see you almost like. It's like you would be giving them assignments or something, but you're trying to put them off. The overall energy is Ten of Swords, by the way. I do count that here. Some kind of ending involved, you know. And maybe you're trying to manage them because uh, you're just not ready for a relationship yet, but it's like you don't want to put them totally off, you know. Uh, it's a little bit of the energy of keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I think, you know, you think too, the seventh house is open uh, enemies. Um, let's see what the advice is from spirit. <laughs> I got to think that as advice from spirit, this is advice for you in how to handle this relationship. And I think it's saying that you need to have hope here that this is probably a fulfillment relationship of your hopes and dreams and wishes. And let me see before I say anything more. What's going on with them? Once again, man. I think they're all into you. I called it right. But 
Now, this is advice from spirit for them to be all into you. So to have the star and the ace of cups, these two across from each other, it goes really well. I think you're dragging your feet, uh, Scorpio, because you maybe you don't want to be in love. You don't want to lose yourself in love emotionally here. Maybe you, you know, I, I was talking about, if you haven't, see the Soul Family read I do daily. Uh, it's up on my channel. Um, just around manifestation spirituality, you know, but uh, talked about this kind of today. Maybe this Nine of Cups was hard won. It took you a while and a lot of effort to get emotionally stable. And this is this Two of Pentacles. It's like, you don't want them emotionally to throw you off. Like, you're not going to go head over heels into them again. You're not going to lose yourself again. You've got this, you know. But Spirit is saying, keep in mind, I think you got... I think you got a, a special fish on the line here, and Spirit's telling them, uh, go ahead and give your Ace of Cups if you're cross-watching, you know, which I think they may already, maybe they haven't formally, um, but I do see them just kind of cooperating with you. I see a submissiveness to them. Honestly, it's like if you said to them, jump, they might literally say, how high should I jump, you know? Uh, I'm not necessarily seeing that as a bad thing, you know? Uh, um, it's just, uh, boy, you, you really got a hold over them. I mean, you, this ball is 100% in your core. I'll say that, Scorpios, which I think you guys would like it that way. It's very important which way he's facing. Ha ah, ah, ha, I'm laughing at you. I'm sorry. But this is the advice from Spirit for the relationship as a whole, and it is pointing right at this Ace of Cups. Uh, Mars, Knights are always Mars. This is actions because actions are Mars. And this is like you need to offer them your cup. You're going to say to them, this is what Spirit is saying. This is in the crux of the heart spread. Um, so I'll call this a prediction. And if you're thinking, there ain't no way, hey, I'm telling that, Dave. That ain't never going to happen. Um, <clears throat> I'm thinking you're going to go to them and offer your cup of love. It could be a breakdown process, um, too. It could be a process. Usually Scorpio's got a method, you know. Uh, like, I'm a Venus Scorpio, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll test them, you know, first going out. Hey, do you like threesomes? Do you like to lay in it? We don't really want that. But we give them a chance to say, yeah, I love that shit. And, uh, you know, uh, we're like, yeah, we're, we're, uh, do you, am I going to hear from you again? No, no you're never going to hear from me again. Um, so, um, could be some kind of a test here, but I think you're going to find that they passed it. You're going to want to offer them your cup of love. And now look at this. Outcome is the fool, which, by the way, is my favorite card in the deck normally. This one, my favorite, is the King of Cups because it looks like Jim Morrison. But the fool card has the outcome. You're right now saying, this ain't happening, Dave. Leave a comment because it helps actually leave comments. So you'd only be helping me. Thank you. Um, this is like, you're going to do this. You're going to give me your cup of love. You're going to fall. I see fall. You're going to fall for them. And you're not thinking it's going to happen, but it's going to happen. I think you're trying to control it. You're trying to control them. You don't want to give yourself away. Um, you want to keep up some kind of boundary. Uh, but that boundary is going to fall, guys. And you're going to take the leap, Scorpio. Tell me it isn't so. Thank you, guys. Give me a thumbs up, like. If you can think of anywhere to share this on any kind of social platform, do that, please. It might help me and help my channel. I am trying to grow. Give me a like, uh, tell a friend, tell a friend. Do subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't. Um, always on Thursdays, by the way, is Libra and Scorpio Day. So you also see the heart spread up. I mean, you also see the singles read up, which is now called the Tarot Storytime read. If uh, you know any uh, single Scorpio friends, um, let them know. Thank you, guys.